Y'all already know what time it is. Fragrance review for Under the Lemon Tree. Stay tuned. Welcome to my channel, guys. If you like the content, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. It really helps me out a lot. Under the Lemon Tree is a 2018 release by Maison Martin Margiela. It has top notes of lime, pedigree, and cardamom. The middle notes are coriander, mate, and green tea. And the base notes are cedar, white musk, and rock rose. It's interesting to note that even though this is called Under the Lemon Tree, there is no note of lemon in this. So this one opens up for me with a citrusy, soapy smell. Now that soapiness doesn't last long, it probably only lasts about five or 10 minutes on my skin before that starts to dissipate and that lemony accord starts to really become more apparent. Now even though the citrus in this one is lime, I do get a very lemon-like smell from this, so they did a good job on that. And that lemoniness does increase over the first 20 to 30 minutes before it starts to really dry down and starts to dissipate. Now, a little bit later in the opening, there is also some spiciness. I do pick up a little bit of the cardamom there, and it does really add this nice layer to it. Now, once this one hits the dry down, what I get is a lot less of that citrus, although it does, for me, linger a little bit into that dry down, but it starts to become more centered around a green tea with a little bit of that cardamom spiciness in it. And I do start to pick up a little bit more of that white musk. Now this is actually a very pleasant and relaxing time for the fragrance and it does smell really quite nice and it is interesting how I find that the opening does change so much into the dry down for this one. So that is a nice aspect of this. Now for performance I do get about two hours of moderate projection. This one isn't beast mode by any means, but it is certainly something where if someone is close to you, they're definitely going to smell it. And as it dries down, it becomes a lot closer to a skin scent, but it's more like a nice scent bubble. So it does create um, a bit of an aroma for anyone who's close to you. The sillage for me wasn't too strong, although I would get whiffs of it now and again. This isn't by any means a beast mode fragrance. It's very subtle, it's quite light. For overall longevity, I do get about five to seven hours, which isn't too bad considering this is a somewhat fresher fragrance. But it is something where if you're gonna be out for a long time, you should be prepared for the fact that you might have to reapply this one. Overall, this does have a bit of a rough opening. There are times when I get a little bit of syntheticness from that lemon and it does come across a little bit rough then. But the fact that they were able to approximate lemon quite well with a slight bitterness without using a lemon note is really quite astonishing. So the lemon is pretty nice, albeit sometimes a little synthetic. And the dry down is really quite enjoyable as well. It's a very relaxing, easy to wear, carefree, fun fragrance. So this is something that's easy to wear in the spring, easy to wear in the summer, and it is enjoyable. And I think it's one that people will enjoy around you as well. For me personally, I found this one did lack a wow factor to it. So it is nice, I do enjoy it, but it doesn't wow me in any way. This isn't something that really blew me away. And so personally, it's one I probably won't pick up a bottle of, but it is nonetheless a very nice fragrance. And if you are looking for something in this kind of a vein, this is definitely then one you should check out. Anyways, guys, if you haven't got your nose on this one, do check it out under the lemon tree. Don't forget to comment, like, and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.